we've been talking about vectors lately, a lot of them. We know that Affinity Designer can be equal with Adobe Illustrator, but can Affinity Designer also be a digital painting software like Photoshop? And so I tried the default brushes of Affinity Designer and painted a portrait. Let's fast forward the sketch and add the black and white tones or others may call grayscale. The purpose of drawing a grayscale digitally is for us to determine a good sense of tones and values. Because it is easier for us to understand and identify light, mid-tones, and darks. You will have a better view of values if you blur your subject. This filters the colors out, letting you see values better. Try to check the painting process of Gabriel Bricky for best example. We'll put a link of her channel down in the description. She has this pen display review plus speed paint. Try to watch her technique as she blurs her subject and apply those tones to her paintings. As for me, I tried to create a base sketch to support my painting. And from there, we added some base paint and added the tones to create values. Let's add the colors after our grayscale painting. I recommend you doing this if you're still beginning to paint because as they say, values does the work and color gets the credit. Let's assume that we're done with our grayscale. Let's group our grayscale layers and add another pixel layer with a color blend mode. Now let's paint a flesh hue on top of our grayscale. Let's use the default gouache brushes for painting the colors. And there we have it, but we're not done yet. Let's desaturate the color a little. Let's make it livelier by adding some reds. Let's give it some blush on the cheeks and nose level because on these area, our face has more blood. Then use this smudge tool to blend in the colors. Next is to blend in subtle yellows to contrast the reds. Then we add bluish grays on the areas with less light. Blend in the colors until you're happy with it. Next up, we color the eyes. I like her eyes to be green with a subtle gradient of yellows. Let's add some more blush to make her look happier. And lastly, we turn the lips red. And that's about it for the three color zones of painting portrait. We focus on the tones and values of our subject and then we color. Just follow these steps and you'll never go wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed the painting process and learned something from it. Keep on learning, keep on creating, and keep on drawing. Thanks for watching and be safe.